and has been linked to an Islamist group already under investigation for radicalising children as young as six. Seven News has learned Fahar Jabbar was at Parramatta Mosque. He attended a talk given by Hezbollah Tahrir just before launching that attack. The head of the Australian arm of radical Islamist group Hezbollah Tahrir refused to say what his group was saying to Fahad Jabbar right before his fatal attack. Can you tell me what, what the talk was at the Parramatta Mosque? What was the talk about at the Parramatta Mosque? Can you tell us, this young boy, did you know this young boy? Was he part of the Muslim Youth Project? This video caused outrage one year ago. Children in Western Sydney, one just six years old, being coached to pledge victory or death to the global Islamic Caliphate. The Muslim Youth Project, run by Hezbollah Tahrir, holds regular events for young people with messages like this. That's how you put fear into the hearts of the enemy, when you have nuclear power. If we can uh, determine that this boy attended the fiery Hezbollah Tahrir sermon, that by itself you know, is not the, um, the final straw. Uh, but there is a level of culpability that they have to face up to. The group is already under investigation by state and federal authorities. The people pay to you here in Australia to say the truth, not to fabricate lies. Tell me the truth. You are a liar. Did you know this young boy? What was the talk at the mosque? What was it about, Ishmael? We're still no closer to understanding whether this young man was part of a Hezbollah Tahrir group or whether he'd just been to the mosque that day or a few times before. Community leaders are calling on Muslim parents to engage with their children. It is in our interest as Australian Muslims to prevent our boys and girls from falling in the traps of this hateful ideology. Hezbollah Tahrir did not respond to our questions. Brian Seymour, 7 News.